Hello everyone and this is Mr. Mahmood here and welcome to the second video of the series GCSE Maths Mistakes video. In this video we are going to look at the common mistakes made by students when estimating the mean. Okay so for the first mistake the students will possibly make is just identifying the questions incorrectly. Now some students will think this is cumulative frequency question so they will start adding the frequency. So they will write say cumulative frequency here and they'll say 8 at 3 is 11 at 7 is 18 and they'll carry on and they will make a total of the cumulative frequency and then possibly make a total of the frequency which is 40 and then they'll think oh what do I do now okay it says mean so I'm going to divide the cumulative frequency by their total frequency and it just goes all pear shaped from here now the second mistake the students will make is they'll probably recognize okay I will need to work out the mean and then I will need to multiply the numbers on the time by the frequency. Now they'll probably miss the fact that there is only one column here and they will think, oh, I just need to multiply these two. So 20 times eight, multiply these two together. So 20 times eight, which is 160. And they will carry on multiplying 25 and three, which is 75. And then we'll add the total and then divide it by the total of this column by the total frequency. Now, because they will do the process, say for example, they will be dividing it by the total frequency, they will probably pick up one mark or two marks for the process, but they will miss out the accuracy mark. So the next thing the student will possibly uh, make a mistake on is they will recognize it's the estimate in the mean question and they will recognize the data is grouped so they will need to find the midpoint so they will draw another column on the far right okay so let's name this a uh, midpoint so midpoint and they will know that they need to work at the midpoint and then they will know that they need to multiply the midpoint by the frequency because the, the data is grouped now this mistake is very common what the students will do is they will probably work out the midpoint incorrectly so they will say you're 20 to 25 there are six numbers no there are five numbers so far for five is let's do some calculation here so half of five is 2.5 and you can add 2.5 to 20 which gives us 22.5 so the midpoint is 22.5 but the students will make a mistake of adding well dividing uh, 6 by 2 and they will add 3 to 20 and they will say oh the midpoint is 23 so don't make that mistake so I will show you a really easy way to how to work out the midpoints all you have to do is add the 20 and the 25 together which is 45 and then divide 45 by 2 which is 22.5 and doesn't matter what the class width is how big the uh, difference is between the numbers this will always give you the correct midpoint okay so that's 22.5 now let's go ahead and calculate all these midpoints so we're going to add 25 and 30 and that gives us an answer of 55 divided by 2 which is 27.5 now we will need to multiply the midpoint by the frequency so these two numbers here so 8 times 22.5 that gives us 180 and 3 times 27.5 that gives us an answer of 82.5 make sure you check your answers on a, using a calculator usually these questions come up in a calculator GCST maths question okay so let's add up the frequency now so there we have 240 usually they will give you in the question like what the free total frequency is here but always double check by adding the numbers together okay using a calculator now the last step we need to do is a divide the total of midpoint times by frequency so the total gives us 1390 now another mistake students will make is they will probably divide the total frequency by the midpoint times by frequency. 
Okay, so that's another mistake people students will make. So do not do this. Always multiply the midpoint times by frequency, which is 1390 divided by 40. So always the bigger one divided by the smaller number. That helps you remember it. And that will give you 34.7. The mean time takes him is 34.7 minutes. And that's the unit given in the question. Okay, I hope this helped you and I hope I managed to save you some marks in your GCSE maths. So if it helped you, then, then please do give it a like and let me know in the comments what other common mistakes you want to see that are made in GCSE maths ex exam question. Well, GCSE maths exams. Okay, that's all for today and then see you in the next video. There will be another common mistakes video next week. So don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Mr. Mahmood, helping you do better in maths.